Now we're at the grounds, we start fishing. And when we start fishing, we pay away. That's casting your nets and your warp. Now your warp is your thick steel cable which holds the nets. And that's wrapped around the winches over there. And you get your troll doors and your bobbins and your floats and you put them over the side and that's paying away. Now, we tow at a speed of three knots, which is about four mile an hour. And your bobbins, they help the gear to ride over the rough sea bed without snagging. And your troll doors, they keep the mouth of the net wide open for all the fish to swim into. Now, the most important part is your cod end. Now, that's the bit at the end of the net shaped like a sock that all the fish swim into. Now, we tow for about two and a half to three hours, sometimes longer, and then we haul our gear. The bobbins come aboard and then we haul the net in by hand over the side, you know, working with the sway of the ship. And then the cod end is swung aboard over the deck and it's the mate, usually the mate, who goes under, unties the net like that and all the fish pour out into the pound and then you start gutting, right? And then you pick up a fish, might be cod, add a whatever. Get your knife, right? You put it in the gills and you slit down its belly, down to its belly button, and you cut it and open it up, right? You take the liver out with that hand, right? You keep that, we want that. You put that in the basket for cod liver oil. You take the guts out, the heart out. We don't want them, you chuck them away, and then a the fish goes in the fish washer and down to the fish room. Now, this is me gutting knife. I've had this a fair few years. I keep it sharp. You do the same, and soon you'll be gutting three or four fish in a minute, just like me. Now, the first time you gut a fish, you might be a bit nervous, like, you know what I mean? So when you pick it up and you've got this fish in your hand and it's gonna be wriggly and it'll be a big fish, you might be thinking, well, oh, what do I do with this, like, you know what I mean? But once you've done a few, you're gonna be getting used to it and then you'll become a natural at it. But you better take them mittens off because once you start gutting, you're gonna need to have your rubber gloves on. It's fine weather now, so I'm all right in my cap, my muffler and my jersey. You know, and I've got my vest and my uh, long johns on underneath. But in a winter time, you're going to need your oil frock on, your sou'wester and your thigh boots, right? Or your duck suit and your waders, which is a bit more modern. Because up at Iceland, it can get a bit cowl. You know, you're talking freezing temperatures, force nine gales and ice. Ice building up on the superstructure. Up there, many a good man has been lost to ice. It's the sea spray, you see. And once that comes over us, it's the mast, it's the gallows, it's the rigging, and it freezes. And it freezes faster than you can chop it away. And when that happens, the ship gets top heavy and she turns turtle, she rolls over, and then that's it. You've no chance. Right, we've got to pay away. 